less time. We've been beaten, battered, and broken. Hundreds of packs have been opened with nothing inside. Scammers, pack weighers, and schemers ruled these lands. You can tell it's resealed because the crimps on here are flattened. But just as we thought, all hope was lost. A new Dollar Tree has emerged to take back what is rightfully ours. Poke Cave, we are back, and I have over $200 tree packs of Pokemon cards, two cases of unbroken bonds. It's been over six months since we opened Dollar Tree packs because last time we were scammed. We did terrible. All the packs were weighed, all the packs had no big hitters in it, and it was just really, really bad. So I finally decided to give it another shot. Let's see if we can get some big hits out of here. So each of these cases should have around 100 packs in each of them, meaning we got 200 packs, spent around $200, and we're going to keep track of all of the big hitters we get, so GXs are better, we're going to see the PSA 9 prices and the PSA 10 prices, and we're going to see how we do. We're going to see if we get the Charizard Reshiram, which is going for around $500 in a PSA 10. We're going to see if we get the Blastoise, which is going for around $400 in a PSA 10. There's a ton of really, really nice cards in Unbroken Bond, so let's get right to it. And here is the first pack of 200. Go down the comment section, let me know, put a yes if you think we're getting scammed again. Put a no if you think we're going to do all right here. Pack number one. All right, so starting off with some non hollows So the thing about these Dollar Tree packs is that, number one, they're really easy to be weighed. That's actually a good sign that we have a reverse in there. So that pack technically would have been heavier than the rest of them. But a lot of times people go through these and they weigh them out and they take all the good packs. So we're going to see if we can actually get some good stuff out of here. Okay, we got a hollow. That's that's pretty good, honestly, for Dollar Tree packs. To be seeing that is a good sign. I have hope. I have faith with these. There we go. Reverse Litten. Mainly because most of the packs that come in these cases were still in there. So there's a certain amount of packs that you get in a case. And these cases were pretty much almost full. So we're going to take another shot here. Right now we haven't had any big hitters yet. But you get three cards in these packs. Anything goes. Usually if you're going to get a hit, I believe it's going to be the middle card. Non hollow out of that pack. But Unbroken Bonds is a really cool set. And actually the price of Unbroken Bonds has been flying up. Especially sealed packs and booster boxes. So it was cool to be able to grab two cases of these. But let's see if we can get our first real hit out of here. Coughing non hollow. I really hope we're not going to get scammed again, Pokegave. We've done Dollar Tree openings two times. This is the third time. So hopefully the third time is the charm. Some people were saying, see if you could get a case of them that's still sealed. I wasn't able to do that. This is probably as close as I could get. We got non hollows so far out of here. We did get a hollow. We got some reverses too, which is still a good sign. Now, if we get our first GX, I'll be happy because I'll know that we're kind of on the right track. Let me know if you guys enjoy Dollar Tree pack openings. This is only the third one again. And I'm hoping these ones weren't sifted through. Oh, there we go. First hit. I'm so happy to see this. This is a good one. A full art Marshadow image champ. I have hope. I have some real, real hope here. Dude, our Dollar Tree pack, like luck, has been just insanely bad until today. This might be the day, Poke Cave, where we redeem ourselves. Sleeve it up. The Marshadow image champ. Looking pretty good. This is a solid, solid card. Let's see what it's worth. All right, so this card in a PSA 10 is going for about $100. PSA 9 is going for about 60. I got it on the screen right there too, so we'll be able to keep track of it. So let's keep going through these. We actually got a hit. Okay, that's a good thing. See, that's why I went in on these because I wasn't even there to even grab Pokemon cards. I was just stopping by and I saw them and I was like, these are still full. Nice, Togekiss Hollow. We'll take it. So I saw they were full. And I'm like, you know what? We did terrible so many times, but this might be the time that we can redeem ourselves, Poke Cave. It's been a long six months away from dollar packs, but I'm hoping that we can do even better now that we saw the potential there with that full art that we got. If you guys missed the first couple parts of the Dollar Tree openings, I'll put them in the description down below if you want to check those out as well. But just so you guys know, it was brutal to watch. There were a lot of packs. I had hundreds of packs. I actually had more packs than we have here. Tentacle Reverse, Hitmontop. So Unbroken Bonds, for those of you guys that don't know, actually, I don't even know. Let me check what a booster box of these is going for right now. Squirtle Artwork's nice. 
Wow, so Unbroken Bonds booster boxes are actually going for about $350 each. So just finding these in the store was awesome. And I asked them how long they've been sitting there and they said they've been sitting there for like a really long time, like since before or like around the holidays. Like, do you guys not sell any Pokemon cards? And they just were like, no, nobody really buys them. I think there might be something in here. Ooh, okay, regular GX Persian. Nice. It's kind of crazy. Even this regular GX card, the PSA 10 I just checked, goes for about $40. And in a PSA 9, about $30. So even regular GXs nowadays, it's crazy the value that's on them. But I just updated the prices on the bottom. So we got 140 for PSA 10s and 90 for PSA 9s. Persian GX going in. Let's keep it going. And another GX, a Whimsicott back to back. Nice. Sleeve it up. Let's see what this guy's going for. Prices updated on the board. So this one's going for the same thing, 40 in a PSA 10 and about 30 in a PSA 9. This one, you can definitely see the centering is quite off left to right. So probably more like a, a 9 on this one. But I just want to do both grades on the board so you guys can get an idea for yourselves as well. Because remember, we spent $200 on all these packs here. And we're actually doing really good. I mean, on top of that, the Pokemon market is going crazy. So like if you went back a couple years, regular GXs would be worth pretty much nothing. But now, even the regular GXs people are buying. So... It's kind of worth it to grade them up, honestly, and even for PSA 9 candidates, too. Are some of these... So, I'm just realizing now, these ones don't have that promo card in the back. Let me see if I get another one out here. Yeah, so now we don't have that promo card in the back? That's interesting. Some of them had that, some of them didn't. Hmm, that's interesting, because that would actually mess it up if people were trying to weigh these out. Because if there was an extra card in there... They might think that those are all the ones that are heavy. So I don't know if this was two different runs of this. Another Whimsicott going on the board. Nice. Whimsicots are taking over the cave. I am just so happy. Poke Cave, I think we finally did it. I think we finally, third try is the charm and we actually did not get scammed here. So I cannot wait to see what else we get out of here. Hallelujah. Oh man, this is amazing. We did not get scammed and we're just gonna see what else we can get out of here. We're doing amazing right now. $200 is what I spent on these and we act, like it just feels so good to not be scammed Like I, I know it's a crazy feeling but you guys got to remember like I, we've been through it I went to so many Dollar Trees to like $12 trees every single one we got scammed at pretty much There was maybe one where we did okay but every single Dollar Tree just destroyed us And I'm just so happy now that we finally got a find Ooh, there we go. Persian GX doubling up on our GXs. Boom, going in. 260 on the board for PSA 10s and 180 for PSA 9s. Still crushing it. Still have a ton more packs left. Let me know down below in the comment section too if you would like to see a PSA returns just for these cards that we pull here. So we can actually see how well we do. We can calculate in the cost of grading and things like that. Can we get our first rainbow? All right, I have a feeling this one might have something good. Arcanine Hollow, we'll take another one. That's a great artwork. Unbroken Bond's cool. You don't really get to see this opened up very often just because the cards are pretty expensive now. But to be able to stumble upon this in a store is absolutely amazing. And this is pretty much the only time I'll ever buy Pokemon cards from like an actual physical store location. Again, for those of you who don't know, I get everything at distributor level, so I never go to like Target, Walmart, things like that to get Pokemon cards. But this specifically, dollar packs, you can't get them. You can only get them at the dollar store location. Wholesale distributors, they don't sell them to any other places. They're exclusive to, to dollar store type places. So we're going to go through the rest of this box right here. And then we're going to move on to that other one on the left side. See if we get our first rainbow or gold card. Gengar reverse. That's sick. I think I might just grade this one for fun. I love Gengar. That's a great artwork. But that's the other thing, guys. Just collect what you want. You don't have to listen to anybody else but yourself. If you see a card that you like, it doesn't matter if it's worth, you know, one cent or a hundred dollars. You can grade it. You can put it in your collection. I love Gengar, so I'm a sucker for that. I'll probably pull out some other stuff after this video is over that I want to grade as well. Even just cards with cool artworks like that Arcanine is pretty sick. I'll probably send one or two of those in. And yeah, it's just a regular hollow, but I don't know, guys. I love the old school stuff just as much. And those just kind of bring me back. I don't know about this guy, though. I'm probably not going to grade that. All right, so we're almost 100 packs through, and we're looking pretty good right now. We're pretty much on, like, spot on almost about what we paid on average here, which is really good because we got a whole another 100 packs left in that other case to go through.
This is a workout. This is really a workout. Going this fast. Got the Haunter. There's stuff everywhere. But we got this one case left. Let's do it. First case, we got four GXs and one full art. Now we got another case. And I don't know if these packs were all mixed up and stuff between both cases, which I think they might have been. Because when I purchased them, they took them out of the box. Still been a little dry. It's been a little dry. Togepi Reverse. Rehydrate. Come on. There we go. Okay. That'll be easier for us. All right. It's time to get another hit. It's been too long. Editor. Cue dramatic music right now. Why? Why? <laughs> We're getting destroyed, Poker Cave. I don't know what happened. Did we speak too soon, Poker Cave? Are we gonna get scammed on the rest of these? We haven't seen a hit in so long. The second box is destroying us right now. Maybe they're saving the best for last. Maybe the rest of these are gonna have nothing. Are we going back down the same road of not being able to get pulls out of Dollar Tree packs? Maybe the beginning was a fluke. I had so many high hopes for us. My expectations were so much bigger now. I dreamed that we were gonna be able to go to dollar stores and be able to get packs again and to start doing this on the channel, but I think I spoke too soon, Poke Cave. Maybe I didn't. Maybe there's still a chance. Editor, cue hopeful music. Maybe, just maybe, we still have a shot to make this happen. Maybe the Polka Gods are with us right now and they're just testing us. They're testing our will right now. They're testing our strength. They're testing us to see if we have what it takes to keep going through all the bad packs and get something good. Just maybe we have a shot now. We're down to it. I think we've only got about 25 packs remaining out of our 200. I don't know what happened, but we haven't seen a hit in like over 75 packs. Can't lose hope just yet, Poker Cave. We haven't updated the values in so long. Oh, yes, yes, okay. Oh, okay. We still have a shot. Lucario, ML Metal, GX. Let's see what this is worth. I'm so happy to see this card. Most of the GX has been pretty consistent. $40 for PSA 10s and $30 for PSA 9s. Price is updated. I think we got about 20 packs or so left here in this pile. Maybe they're saving the best for last. I really hope so, but we're gonna find out on these final moments of this opening. We've only seen one full art so far. We have seen five regular GXs which is still a good sign. I don't know if we're guaranteed things in dollar packs or cases anyway. I don't know if anybody took some of the good stuff out, but we're gonna see if we can still get some more big hits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Final fifteen packs, Poke Cave. Reverse. We need some big hitters in this final stack. Maybe, maybe, somehow, some way, the packs were mixed up, and the best is waiting for us on this last stack. But we're cutting it really close right now. Is it going to be worth going down this road again with the Dollar Tree packs? I don't know yet. This is our final moment, Poke Cave. Reverse. Reverse polywag. Final two. Can we end it with something good? A non hollow tagula. Final pack, Poke Cave. This is it. I dropped the light. Last card. Oh, a non hollow. All right, Poke Cave. So this is what we ended at the Lucario Mel Metal GX. We've got two Persian GXs. We got two Whimsicott GXs, and we got one Full Art Marsh Shadow in the champ. Out of all 200 packs, the totals are on the screen there. Let me know, Poker Gabe, do you think it was worth it to open those up? Do you think I should open up more? Let me know everything down below in the comment section. But either way, I had a ton of fun opening these up with all of you guys. That is going to be it, though. Make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, hit the like button, click all the buttons, and I will see you on the next one.